Hello and welcome to Bulldog TV News, an affiliate of the USA News Network. I'm Terrence. And I'm Kyle. And here's what we have for you today. Drawing a board lesson from the election of Donald Trump, President Barack Obama said Tuesday that world leaders need to pay attention to people's very real fears of economic dislocation and, in and inequity and a a mis of globalization. The more aggressive and effective we deal with those issues, the less those fears may channel themselves into the counterproductive approaches that can pit people against each other. Obama said as he opened the last fortune tour of his presidency. Obama is a joint news conference with the Greek prime minister said that both Trump's election and British vote to leave the European Union reflected the need to deal with people's fear that their children won't do as well as they have. Sometimes people just feel as if we want to try something and see if we can shake things up, Obama said. Hidden from the public in this Manhattan high rise, Donald Trump huddled Tuesday with Vice President-elect Mike Pence as he tried to fill out posts in his, key ca in his cabinet. But the transition team appeared to be straining under the enormous challenge of setting up a new administration. Former Representative Mike Rogers, a respected Republican voice on national security issues, announced he was quitting the transition effort. And an apparent clerical oversight effectively hated, halted the Trump team, Trump's team to ability to coordinate with Barack Obama's White House. With Trump out of sight for several days, his allies engaged in an unusual round of public speculation about his potential appointments, including their own futures as the president-elect and his aides weighed the nation's top national security posts. Senate Majority Leader Mitch Kanonua of Kentucky is expected to be re-elected Wednesday to the top leadership job by Senate Republican Conference. The vote comes one day after Paul Ryan of Wisconsin was anonymously chosen for another term as House Speaker by his Republican colleagues. The new Congress convinced in January and a final vote on House Speaker will take place at that time. House Democrats, meanwhile, postponed the leadership elections after some members asked for some more time to analyze the results of their election. Democrats are currently led by Majority Leader Nancy Pelosi, representing California, and Majority Whip Steny Hoyer, representing Maryland. Denver voters have approved a first-in-the-nation law while allowing willing bars and restaurants to give patrons the option to use marijuana alongside a cocktail or meal. The catch, smoking pot won't be allowed inside, and the locations would have to first get the approval of neighbors. Denver voters approved Proposition 300 on the same day that the nation's largest state of California and two others legalized pot for all adults and five more states approved pot for sick people. Signs of society is increasing tolerance for the drug. Current Colorado law allows jurisdictions to decide for themselves when pot can be used in public. Denver is the first city to allow use in bars and restaurants. Oklahoma City Police and investigators worked to piece together why a man waited to gun down an airline employee outside Will Rogers World Airport on Tuesday in an ambush that forced hundreds of travelers to take shelter and prompted authorities to shut down the state's business support for hours. Police later discovered that the suspect shooter did dead from an apparently self-inflicted gunshot wound inside a pickup truck in a parking garage near where they believed that waited for raided before shooting and killing Michael Winchester, 52, a Southwest Airline employee. Oklahoma City Police said they do, do they do believe that this was a premeditated act against the victim, and that the investigation is ongoing. Google wants to make this digitizing your many boxes of old photos prints as easy as opening an app. The PhotoScan app for iPhones and Android's phones will use the phone's camera to capture an old photo in four sections and stitch them together, much like a panorama shot. Google says this approach helps eliminate glare that can mar attempts to digitize a print by simply photogra photographing the whole photo. The app will take a minor adjustment to restore color in faded co photos and to align corners when the photo print is bent. The free app released Tuesday will work with photos on a table, a picture frame, and an album. It will also digitize slides when projected on a wall. Google says the resolution of the digitized photo will be comparable to that from a flatbed scanner. The force with us, I mean, the force with them, Carrie Fisher admits in her 
upcoming book, The Princess Diaries, that she and Harrison Ford had a secret three-month affair while filming the first Star Wars movie in 1976. The actress, 60, revealed details of their romance and claimed that co-star began their affair at a birthday party for Star Wars director George Lewis. Ford has not responded to her affair claims. Fishing new book, which, which is a collection of the, her diary entries, and will be released on November 22nd. The world's highest paid actor, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, has a box office draw, but it's his even bigger heart that made him the star this year's Sexiest Man Alive. It's always an honor for anyone to be named people's Sexiest Man Alive, but for Dwayne Johnson, it means a little more. The half Samoan, half black actor is the first non white male to receive the title since Denzel Washington in 1996. Michelle Williams is one is on board to play Janice Joplin in an upcoming biopic. The 36-year-old actress told E! News that she scored the role of her late rock icon after reports surfaced last month that she, that she was in talks to, to start in the Sean Durkin direct film Janice Durkin's production is based on a 1992 bio biography, Love Janice, which was penned by Janice, sister Lauren Laura Jofin, this won't be the first time Williams had portrayed a historical character. In 2012, she was nominated for an Oscar for playing Marilyn Monroe. In 2011, my week with Marilyn Marilyn Monroe, really, I mean Marilyn Williams, can next be seen in a, a drama Manchester by the Sea opening Friday. A wild weekend full of upsets in NCAA football left the college football playoff committee scratching their heads before releasing yesterday's updated rankings. Alabama still holds the court, top, court atop the rankings with their perfect record, but 2nd through 10th places are left in total flux and dependent on how the regular season finishes. Ohio State jumped from number 5 to number 2 in the rankings, followed by Michigan at 3 after their 1-point loss to Iowa. Holding the final point, spot in the playoff for the moment in is Clemson. The, the Big Ten Conference Championship completely muddles the playoff situation for the rest of the season, though if both Ohio State and Penn State went out, Penn State would actually play in the Conference Championship game and have a shot at a playoff spot. Early season college basketball games have chance has been a warm-up contest to get ready for conference play after the holiday break. For some of the best programs in the country, these games are early tests against worthy opponents to sharpen skills and keep on top of the weekly rankings. In game one of the State Farm Champions Classic last night, number two, Kentucky down 13 ranked Michigan, State 69 to 48, keeping the spark. Winning this in the early going, Malik Monk led all scorers with 23 points and six rebounds for the Wildcats. In game two, seventh ranked Kansas battled top ranked Duke down to the wire, winning 77 to 75 on a last second jumper from Frank Mason III, who led the Jayhawks with 21 points. LeBron James scored a big double double of 20 points and 14 assists to push the Cavaliers past the Raptors 121 to 117. Kyrie Irving contributed 24 points of his own, along with Kevin Love's 19 points and 13 rebounds. The Raptors stayed mostly toe to talon with the Cavs, and if any team is going to usurp the defending champs in the Eastern Conference, the Raptors could be their heir apparent. Toronto guard Kyle Lowry said after the game, I'm not encouraged by any lose, or loss. We want to win every single game. Every time we touch the floor, we want to win games. With the win, the Cavs improved 9 to to 9-1 and one, and record not match since the 1976 and 1977 season. Dennis Schoenher scored 18 points to lead a balanced Hawks squad to escape the Heat 93-90. to 90. The Hornets stung the Timberwolves 115-108 to with Kemba Walker 30-point leading the way. Jimmy put away 27 points as Every Bulls started second in double digits to stampede the trial. I mean the trial Blazers 113 to 188. In a late game, D'Angelo Russell scored 32 points and Julius Randle added 17 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 assists for the second career trip 
triple double in the Lakers 125 to 118 victory over the Nets. The Suns beat the Flyers 3 to 2 in a shootout. Joe Kim Nordstrom scored the uh, lone goal as the Canes shut out the Sharks 1 to nothing. The Blue Jackets railed the real past the Caps 2 to 1 in overtime. James Van Rymsdyk nailed a hat trick to the, put the Leaves over the Predators 6 to 2. Panthers popped the Habs 4-3 in overtime. Nikita Kucherov scored twice as the Lightning beat the Red Wings 4-3. The Blues scored thrice in the third to win over the Sabres 4-1. Johnny Godru's goal was all the Flames needed to burn the Wild 1-0. The Jets hit the afterburners on the Blackhawks for a 4-0 victory. The Devils sneak past the Stars 2-1 in overtime. Goalie Simon C. Sim and Varmilov made 32 saves to help the Avs bury the Kings 4-1. In the late games, the Rangers beat the Canucks 7-2, and John Gibson makes 33 saves as the Ducks give the Oilers their fourth straight loss 4-1. The U.S. men's national team lost its second straight World Cup qualifying match in a row, losing to Costa Rica 4 to nothing. while the U.S. have never won versus the American side now is now sits at the bottom of the CONCA CAF standing for the World Cup 2018 qualifying. That's all we have for you today. I'm Terrence. And I'm Kyle. And join us again tomorrow for the Boda TV News and the affiliate of the USA News Network. Boom. That was